Hi, I'm Craig DeForest, and I'd like to take a couple minutes just to talk to you about partnership agreements. Once you've established a relationship with a community partner or your students have established that relationship, it will become really important for you to formalize that through a partnership agreement. And in this lesson and going through the course site, you'll gain an understanding of why a partnership is key to a partnership agreement rather is key to a successful service learning experience and also learn what types of things are appropriate to include in that agreement. So why is a partnership agreement helpful and necessary? It tells students what is expected from them um, in the course, in the work that they're doing with this community partner. It also tells community partners what they can expect to receive for service, um, what the outcome, the final end product is going to be, and equally as important, what their role is as a, a teacher, because really they're also responsible for student learning um, in a service learning course. And finally, it's a neutral place. It's an objective piece of paper where you can, you can reference later if there's an issue that arises. Um, you can take a look at this paper and see what was the agreement, uh, what are we requiring here. The contents of a partnership agreement are, should really run through a few key things. One, what's the problem or issue that the course is addressing? Um, and what are the parameters? Are there any constraints? And what are the needs of the community partner? Also, timeline is something important to consider. What's the time frame? Are there specific due dates for these products? Um, and what's the contact info of the community partner, a key contact there, your information and the student's information so that the community partner has an easy way to be in touch with them. One of the things uh, that's going to be important because you'll be teaching an online course is how do you get this agreement, how do you make an agreement, um, and how do you communicate it? We talked about the two models um, that will be used in community partnership relations. One where the students find a community partner and one where you as a faculty member has already established that relationship. So if the student has found the community partner, it could be easy for you to um, list this partnership agreement as an assignment and have them, the students, email the agreement to you as a PDF once it's been signed by all of the parties involved. If you've developed this relationship and established the agreement yourself um, for the whole class, then it'd be a really great idea for you to post that onto an easy to access location on the course site for the student to reference as they're um, doing this work. And lastly, we've placed some examples um, on the course site of partnership agreements, different templates that you can adapt and use um, that will ask you questions as you explore how to create your own partnership agreement.